My name is Stanislaw, and this tutorial is all about adding style to your project using M Transition Zoom. It's a great easy way to add some dynamic movement to your projects. Once you've purchased M Transition Zoom, find them inside the Transitions tab of Final Cut Pro. Then click M Transition Zoom. Inside are dozens of different transitions to choose from, accompanied with preview images. To use any of these, just hover over the one you'd like and drag and drop it in between your clips. That's all there is to it. Let's check it out. For this next scene, it'd be great to zoom in to the street from the last overhead shot. So back in M Transition Zoom, I'll choose a Zoom In Rotate. Just like before, I'll place it in between my two clips and let's play that back. Let's carry this movement further and in between these two clips, only this time let's use a custom zoom in to let us specify exactly where we want to zoom in to our next clip. The custom ones are going to work just a little bit differently and when I place this onto my timeline, we can see that it has an on-screen control puck in the middle. Well, using this control puck, I can specify where I want this to zoom in. And let's move this over here so it looks like we're zooming into the street. Now we've created this dynamic movement go from one scene to the next. Let's experiment with some more movements. This time, I'll use a slide down to kind of carry over how this bike is moving down this ramp. For the shot after this, we'll flip this to the left. Let's see how those transitions look. Something to help out your edits is use transitions that flow with the particular cut. Let's start to finish up this edit with just a couple more transitions at the end. I'll use a custom zoom out at the very end to go from this progression of Our Lady on the Beach and zooming out. We can see exactly where she's zooming out from, so I might want to move this position. But if I put it out here, she'll be in the ocean, and that doesn't make very much sense. We might want to put it here on the land, but now I don't necessarily see the water. So I may want to put it right near the edge, so it looks like it flows from one scene to the next. Now the scene flows a lot better with some simple movement. Now let's take a look at the finished project. For more tutorials and information about M Transition Zoom, visit motionvfx.com.